Hi, hello, welcome back. So today we will be seeing about uh, CPT topic that is surgical pathology from pathology. Okay. So surgical pathology, the code series starts with double eight three double zero to double eight three double nine. Surgical pathology is little bit a twisting topic, so you have to understand it very properly. Surgical pathology involves the examination of surgical specimens by a pathologist. The CPT code for surgical pathology range from double eight three double zero to double eight three double nine, covering various level of complexity and specific procedures. So the key concept which you have to understand in this is first one is specimen source and type. Different codes are used on the specimen type like biopsy, resection, and complexity of the examination. Level of examination should be maintained. Additional procedures like special stain immuno history which, which is done that you have to be very clear and uh, under surgical pathology we have level 1 level 2 level 3 level 4 level 5 and level 6 level 1 is gross examination only that is viewing with the naked eye and level 2 to 6 involves microscopic examination so special stains and immunohistochemistry uh, double eight three one two three one three three four one. So it includes group one microorganism, group two th those things and other procedures which are also included. You can have a view on it. Next comes step by step coding process. So first one is identify the specimen and the procedure second you have to select the appropriate cpt code for that third one consider additional procedure if it is done fourth you have to check for any bundled services in this so level explained with detail example so level one is double eight three double zero gross examination only in this visual like uh, without microscope is done so examination of a foreign body removal so that comes under gross examination that is visualing with the eyes and second comes the level 2 that is gross examination and microscopic minimal complexity so it is a straightforward case you can uh, like a non-inflamed appendix removed during the surgery those things are it is a simple case okay the, the that comes under level 2 level 3 is gross microscopic low complexity here um, the specimens are uh, that are straightforward and typically involve simple structure or benign condition that is non-cancerous condition procedures are coded under level 3 and level 4 gross exam moderate complexity here includes biopsies and smaller excision where pathological examination is essential to determine the presence or absence of the disease mostly through biopsy conditions they will be uh, identifying determining whether the presence or absence of the disease in this and level 5 is high complexity specimen that is extensive examination will be occurring here usually involves surgical resection or specimen that are complex in structure so here prostate gland removal due to prostate cancer those examples are given level 5 it is most complex typically involving radical surgery for extensive disease that is a key point so radical resection of the tumor esophagectomy total gastrectomy those are the examples for level 5 and uh, key points to remember is complexity and extent the primary factors for choosing the appropriate level for the complexity of the specimen and extents of the examination required documentation you have to go through and guidelines you have to be very clear thank you thank you so much for watching this video and if you have any doubts you can put it as a comment also and um, please understand this topic very carefully so that it will be really helping you to uh, clearly choose the code. Thank you so much.